Uh, before we start building our first pre tree, uh, I would like to point out a few key features of the interface. Um, on the left hand side, you have your object properties. Here you can change everything from uh, branch length through thickness or radius, or uh, you can change the textures, etc. Uh, in the middle, you have your viewport. And here you can see yourself building the tree. Uh, on the bottom, you have the curve. Uh, I'll explain this in my advanced uh, speed tree tutorial. And on the right hand side, you have your assets. Uh, in the assets, you have color sets, materials, meshes, and displacements. Uh, I'm not using any color sets because I think the uh, the default one in speed tree is uh, good enough. Uh, materials uh, here you can add materials if you like uh, for your speed tree. Uh, meshes, you can add meshes to your speed tree. And uh, displacements, I'm not using any displacements, so uh, I won't be talking about this either. Uh, generation, on the bottom right hand side, you have your gen uh, generators. Uh, you can add generators to build your tree, and uh, that's the first thing uh, we're going to do. We're going to file and uh, press new. There we go. And we have an empty window. Uh, before we start building, uh, you want to check out your uh, your properties. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, I'll explain all or most of these in um, uh, in my advanced Petri tutorial. Uh, all right, let's start building our first tree. We right-click on the tree generator and we go to Add to select it. Add a trunk and add a standard trunk. There you go, you have your trunk. All right, before we go further and add some branches, uh, we want to add a new material. Uh, we go to Materials tab in the Assets window, and then we hit the plus sign. And there we go, with all kinds of textures. Uh, we're going for Broadleaf Bark, or I'm going for Broadleaf Bark. Let's open that up. All right, now we want to add a normal map. So we click the normal and height, and then the triple dot, and we go to broadleaf bark normal. There we go, and now we have a material added. Now, now we need to add a material to the tree, and uh, let's scroll down in our properties window. After we selected the the, the trunk, uh, you go down until you see oops, okay, materials. And then we expand the branch and we add broadleaf bark. And we're done. We have a material on our trunk. Now we need to add some branches. Alright, now right click the trunk, add to selected branches, and we go with the standard level 1 branches. There you go. We've added some branches. Now we need some more because this ain't looking good if you put some leaves on it. So we add level two branches to it. There you go. Well, this, this is looking like a tree right now. Now we need to add some leaves. We go to add selected on our level two branches. We add leaves. I'll just go for standard as well. You can do whatever you like, of course. Uh, oh, sorry. Yes, standard. Now, now we have leaves, but there's no material on it. They're just card cardboard. So it's flat, flat texture. So we need to add a material for our leaves. We go to our materials again. We hit the plus sign and we select. I'll just go and select sample leaves one. And we're going to add a normal map. Because it looks way better, and we're gonna add a speckler map. There we go. Now we need to add it to the leaves. So you select your leaves, go to your properties window, and you look for a uh, type. You get, you look for the for the leaves, and then you hit the plus sign on the type. And as you can see, the geometry is uh, is cards, and 
material simple leaves. There you have it. That's our tree. It's not looking very pretty, right? Um, we need more leaves, so with our leaves still selected, I'm going to look in my properties window and we can adjust some settings. Um, we have a number of ways to do this. You can either, or either increase the size of the leaves. Let's change that to 10. Now you're getting huge leaves. It's, it's not... Well, I don't think it's very pretty, so I'll just, I'll just leave it to 5. No, let's, see, let's put it to 6. Let me scroll up again. And then we have uh, generation. This is how, how uh, speed tree will generate your trees or leaves. Um, uh, if we look at this, uh, we can change the frequency. This is how much leaves we got. And we'll just change that to uh, 6. Yeah, well, yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's still a bit empty. Why is it empty? Uh, well, probably because we don't have enough uh, branches to put the leaves on. But we can make it more dense to change the first to zero. This the first is the point where uh, it will start. <clears throat> it would start putting the leaves. So if I uh, if I click on this, uh, toggle leaves, or turn the leaves off. Oh, let me show you. If you look over here, you see a level two branch. There, this is this is all level two branch. And if you add leaves to them, uh, you can either select first or last. Uh, the first is where it will uh, put the leaves. Uh, from the base up, so if if it's on two, it'll probably zero two. It'll probably go here, but if it's zero, it will start there. And same as last, if if last is very high, uh, it will put put it more up. So yeah, it will look more decent. All right, uh, let's add toggle our leaves again. I, I think it's it's good enough for now. Let's save that. Save as, oh yeah, I've got a lot of trees there. Let's save that as tutorial. Save. And there you have it, this is our first tree. Uh, if you want to know more about Speed Tree, you'll have to watch my advanced Speed Tree tutorial. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again. Bye.